In this class, we are going to learn how to create ESS job sets in Oracle Fusion Cloud instance. I am here in the Oracle Fusion instance. Before going ahead with the hands on, first of all, we will check what does the documentation by Oracle says about ESS job set. I am here in the official documentation by Oracle on introduction to defining and using job sets. Oracle Fusion instance is having a provision for job sets. It is nothing but job sets are nothing but the collection of job definitions that can be grouped together to run as a single unit. Suppose if you want to import the supplier, supplier addresses, supplier other details and so on and so forth things you have to run each and every job definitions one by one in a sequence. So we can make the life easy by grouping all the necessary job definitions and we can club everything in as a one ESS job and we can just schedule that particular ESS job by populating the parameters. It is as simple as that. ESS job set is nothing but it is the collection of one or more job definitions or it could either contain one or more child job sets as well. So we can club one job set within another job set as well. Like the collection of a job definition is a ESS job set and one job set we can club as a child job set in while creating another job set. So this is in short what job set means. So there is a provision how we can run the job set. So we can define a job set that is it can either run as a serial job as a parallel job as well. Like I will show you shortly while creating the job set so what does serial and parallel mean. Serial means it will execute one by one the job definitions or the job set whatever we define while creating the job set that is in a sequence if we select the serial job. If it is a parallel then it will execute everything in a parallel like at a time it will execute all the jobs in parallel. So here are few more details which are provided by Oracle you can have a look. So we are going to consider this documentation which is part of the support.oracle.com I will provide the link for everything in the description. So here Oracle has provided the detailed step how we can create the ESS job set and what are the tables which will hold the values in the fusion instance. So there is this section that is create a job set this is the main focus of interest for us. So without wasting much time let us begin with our hands on and see how we can create a job set. I have switched over to Oracle Fusion instance. First of all we need to go to setup and maintenance from here. We need to go to the task from here and select search. And in the search bar we need to provide manage enterprise scheduler. Click on search. Here there are three options. It depends in which focus area you are going to create a job set. I am going to create a job set that is to import the suppliers and supplier addresses. If you are planning to create a ESS job for HCM or CRM, you can select accordingly. I am clicking on this SCM. Clicking on which it will open this page that is manage enterprise scheduler job definitions and job sets for SCM and financials and related applications. From here we need to click on manage job sets. Click on this. On clicking on this we will get all the seeded as well as the custom manage job sets which we have created. I have already created one job set. Let me just show you that. That is this one. First of all I will open this. In order to open any existing or view any existing job set just click on this edit select and then click on edit. If you see I am having two steps over here we will see how we can add those steps as well. First job is nothing but the jobs name we can customize this like 01, 02 or we can give combination of alphanumeric thing as well. There is an option to execute in serial and parallel then name display name and the package package once you provide while creating the job sets it will freeze. So we cannot modify later but display name we can modify any number of times. And at the end there is one system property which we need to add that is FSCM ESS. So these things are documented in the support document page which I have shown over here. We will see this while creating a job set. So we are going to consider this job set only while running or demonstrating the use case that is when I am trying to execute or schedule the ESS job set. We will learn how we can create this job set now. Click on this cancel. So in order to create a job set afresh click on this plus. All those things are documented over here whatever I am speaking right now. On clicking on the plus button it will open this create job set page. First of all we need to provide the name I will give same thing what I have created earlier but at the end I will put 02. Display name in most of the cases it will be same. If not you can modify and the description you can prove any testing or something. 
package. So this will be useful while you are trying to make use of web services or Oracle integration cloud in order to schedule or submit the request for those job sets. I am providing over here custom job set learning. So this you can modify as per your customer requirement or the use case or the business requirement or the naming convention which are followed in your project. So there are two steps involved over here while executing job set serial parallel which we have discussed while going through the documentation. Serial means it will execute sequentially, parallel means or everything it will execute in a go. So in order to add the job definitions over here, click on this plus. Here it will ask for the step, we can give any alphanumeric number over here. I will give over here as a 01 step. From the job, we need to select the job, what we need to add here. So as I told in the documentation section, we can add the job definition as part of a job set or we can even add job sets and make that particular job set as a child job set while running this parent job set. So I am considering the job definition for this demonstration. I am putting over here input supplier, click on search, let's see what it returns. So first I will add this import suppliers, click on OK, click on OK, I want to insert this to main diagram. So as soon as you click on that, it will add this step over here, that is 01 step is the name of this scope. Next I will add one more job definition because we are creating job set in most of the cases when we are having more than two or at least two job definition which we have to club. If you are adding only one job definition while creating a job set, then it is of no use because job set will act as again a job definition. So job set only we use only when we are going to club two or more number of job sets or job definition as a one entity. Here I am giving one more job definition. So this step we can customize as per your requirement or the need. Instead of 01 step, I can even give 01 job. So just make sure while you are making use of Oracle integration cloud or web services to in order to submit the request for the job set to provide this step ID in a scope. This we will learn in our next class wherein we are going to learn how to invoke or submit a request or schedule those job sets with the help of integration as well as we will look how we can do the same with the help of SOAP UI. Click on this job. Here I am going to search import sub and click on search. I'm going to select over here as import supplier addresses. We can have n number of entities added over here. Suppose if you want to import the supplier, we can club every job definition which are part of import supplier jobs to be added over here and make it as a single job set. So as soon as you click on add, it will add the jobs over here. So currently in this job set, we are having two steps. One step will import the supplier. Next step is it will import supplier addresses. So details we have to provide like how we run any other job definitions. So in detail we had seen how to import the suppliers as well as the supplier addresses in our earlier classes. If you have not watched those classes, please check out those classes before proceeding ahead with this class. Scroll down. So by default there will be two properties created. We are not going to modify but we are going to add one more property over here under system properties. So these things I know because Oracle has documented those things in this support document. So what and all we have seen while in the hands-on is documented over here in the support document. You can have a look whenever you are stuck while creating or implementing or following this class. Whatever I was talking about the system properties. So we need to create one system property that is sys effective applications. I am going to create by clicking on this plus over here. Scroll down. So our sys effective application is over here, just click this or select this. If you want to set the initial value, we can set. So what does the initial value says over here? If you are making use of HCM, we have to give EER SCM ESS. As we are making use of SCM, that is supply chain management, I am going to provide FSCM ESS. Just copy this from here and provide in initial value and click on OK. So we don't have to select read only because it's not checked by Oracle as well. In detail, if you want to know what does this read only do and all, you have to check the official documentation. So that's it with the job set creation. I'm going to save and close this job set creation page. Click on save and close. Now, if you see, we have created this test 02 custom job set. 
you have to make sure while providing this path or the package name that is to give the unique name because this is not editable only the display name will be editable after you create rest of the things we cannot edit now we are going to run our job set so for demonstration purpose i am going to run the earlier created job set as well over here now in order to schedule any enterprise job we have to go to this fusion instance i am going to navigator over here from the menu scroll down you have to expand the tools from here there is an option called as scheduled processes click on this in order to schedule the job set we have to click on this schedule new process again all those things are documented over here whatever i am discussing right now only thing what we have to make sure is we select this job set instead of job over here from here i will provide the name of our job set just tab out so it is not taking our name i am going to search so here i am providing the name stress 01 click on this search it's loading we'll wait for a couple of seconds yeah it has loaded so we need to select this job set which we have created and click on okay now here we can provide the submission notes like how we do with the ess job scheduling same thing click on this import supplier first one here we can provide the parameters now suppose if you get a doubt like where we can provide the or populate the parameters here this is how we can populate i will provide parameter details for import supplier addresses i will provide 0002 something if you want to provide submission note you can provide and for notification all those things we are having like what we have for ess job scheduling same features are available for ess job set as well click on submit so this is the process id which it has created let me refresh so the process id it will provide the process id for the job set now this job set will schedule two job definitions we are the ess job one is import supplier it is currently running and if we just hit on fresh so it is now running this import supplier addresses so it has completed import suppliers ess job let me just click on the import supplier and see the parameters so what and all details we had provided in the parameter it has passed through while executing ess job from within this job set let me just refresh again and see whether import supplier addresses got completed yeah once it completes executing both supplier and the supplier addresses the status for the parent or the job set will turn as succeeded if any error occurs while executing any one of the jobs then the status of this job set will also be errored now what and all parameters we had passed for supplier addresses while scheduling the job set it has populated over here now let me schedule the job set which we have created in this class actually both are same one i had created earlier before recording this class and 02 i have created for demonstrating this use case in this class i'm selecting this test 02 click on okay click on okay go to processes here i'm populating the details for those two ess jobs here i'm giving as 2002 let me just copy this go to import suppliers here i am giving one click on submit so it has successfully submitted the ess job set request click on okay and the number is ending with 738 let me just refresh it's over here process id 732 ending with click on refresh so it is now running import supplier it is executing import supplier and import supplier addresses one by one because we had selected the option as serial because it will execute sequentially the job definition whatever we have added in the job set if we select parallel it will execute both the or n number of job definition whatever we have added in the job set in a go click on refresh so it has successfully executed ess jobs so after it executed the ess job both the ess jobs and the status turns to succeeded the job sets status will also turn succeeded if any error occurs then it will turn error over here or the status will change accordingly so like this in this class we had seen how we can create a job set how we can add the job definitions or the ess jobs within a job set how we can schedule or run the job sets with the help of fusion instance in our next class we will learn how to do same but with the help of web services so that you can automate this process with the help of oracle integration cloud 
or any other products or tools or programming languages of your choice.